House of Mouse strikes yet again. Yet again. And now the Acolyte? Ah, it's time to sell. Just sell it. Just sell Lucasfilm to somebody. Oh. Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Forgotten Circus. What's up, everybody? Uh, Forgotten Circus, your boy, back again with another video, yet again about Disney. So I don't want y'all to think that I'm harping on Disney. It's just uh, right now it's a dumpster fire. Let's be honest. It's <laughs> Marvel's not hitting. Lucasfilm's not hitting. Your, your anime is ain't. I, but, you know, that's your company. You run it how you uh, want. Maybe it might get run into the ground or catastrophic failure. That's failure. No. Let's get it. Let's get into it. So yet again, Disney, which everybody has uh, thinks that they have this facade of they can never miss. Y'all been missing the target a lot lately. Too close. Stay on target. Shows aren't really good. TV series, well, shows, TV series, same category, aren't really good. Movies, mm, subpar. Even though, you know, Guardians was good. Guardians was really good. I actually like that. I don't, I don't know, a lot of people may not like it, but. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, the Acolyte. Yeah, is, uh, I don't know, I guess in Flux. Flux capacitor, flexing. Better terms of putting it, but uh, yeah, nobody cared about the High Republic. You did that whole High Republic thing with Star Wars. Nobody cares. Bring real characters. You know what the funny thing about Disney with uh the actual Lucas Lucasfilm and all that. And you know I'm disappointed in Kathleen. I'll get it. Kathleen Kennedy. I'll get into that later. But um. Yeah, uh, High Republic. Yeah, really storyboards and books and stuff. No, nobody cares about what is the High Republic. Not interested. Old Republic. I'm down. We can do Old Republic. I'm definitely down. But you have so many characters that you can use. There's sometimes you are writing the hot hand. Disney, I'll give it to you. You were riding a hot hand. You had Endgame, Infinity War, Doctor. Oh, everybody knows Marvel. Mar Marvel's been holding weight, but until they don't. So, what's your next next cash cow? Where's that at? I have no idea. That's why you're pushing everything back. I don't need to be a businessman or a smart man to realize that uh something something's amiss. A little bit of trouble. Yeah. Trouble. So, this is what I want. So, the Acolyte, who knows? And then, um, I, love the, I love the people that you actually hire. That's great. So, uh, and this is the only thing I'm going to say about this one. What's that? Leslie Headland? Oh. That's good company. Because you know what? You're always judged by the company you keep. But that's everybody's perception. But uh, yeah, she definitely has the credentials to uh, be an executive producer and everything. And Kathleen Kennedy was on there too. And by God, Bob Iger, whether he likes it or not, you're part of this too. But we all know who. Uh, she rolls with great company five years but anyway uh, that I'll put it as this it's the name that will not be named so you saw the little pop up you know who I'm talking about 
But here's here, here's my thing with like Disney right now. Just unload it. Just unload it. So everybody can start off fresh. Just so the legacy is already there. This is gonna help you. But now you're pushing things so you you uh pulled you actually pushed a lot of movies back, a lot of TV series TV series back. And then you push up Deadpool because you know what's going to make you money? Deadpool, stuff like that. And maybe even Craven. But now, after seeing like a lot of the Craven stuff, I, it may be a little bit too late with Craven, but it might work. I'll give you that. But see, this is what happens when you pump out too much. This is exactly what happens. And it almost seems like I'm repeating myself. Am I repeating myself? I think I am. Why do I always go on rants about Disney? Because they just don't... They just don't hit the mark right now. You had everything going... There was a point when, like, Disney... You had... Marvel was hot. You had that hot hand. But it seems like you didn't... You couldn't adapt. You went there, and I don't know why you went all in on, but it's starting to look like maybe that may have been a good idea holding off and not firing it, uh, getting rid of people. But yeah, acolyte. Now nobody cares about the acolyte. To be honest with you, let's let's Disney. I'm gonna give you a heads up. I'm a small channel, so you probably never listen to me. Bring the old republic. Bring stuff that's been literally embedded in the pages of this universe. Bring something that nobody's ever seen before but heard about before. Because you know what? Everything starts with a whisper. And the ideas are there. Everything's there. You have Revan. You got Star Star Killer. What's his name? Galen Merrick. You got Cal Kestis. Ride the hot hand. I don't understand why you can't do this. Disney's almost like with Star Wars. Because there's been some good... You had had some good ones. And some really bad ones that kind of make the good ones look... Like, did another company do this? But the other person... Uh, Disney... With Lucasfilm is like you're that one person at the table in a casino playing blackjack. So now you keep losing, keep losing. You look at a you look at the other table over there, and everybody's winning. You're like, nah, we're not going to go over there because we don't want to be part of it. But you keep losing, 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 losing your shirt, as they call it. In the gambling world, and everybody's winning over there. And you know what the funny thing is? They switch out the dealer on you, and you continuously keep losing because you don't want to step up and go over there and see what's going on. You're so worried about yourself and think that you you can have so much success because you're a big corporation. You are the house of mouse. It's a pride issue. We need to reset. We need to reset, Disney. And sometimes the only way to reset is to unload some stuff. It's a sinking ship. Would you rather have the the ship sink or unload some cargo where it still stays afloat and you can figure stuff out? That's all I'm saying. May not be the brightest idea, may not be the smartest idea, but um, I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Everything you're doing right now is terrible. And, you know, I, I used to think Kevin Feige was a wizard, but I, now I think they were riding a hot hand. Because it's one of those you'll... You'll literally, you you got this lightning in a bottle, but you can't contain it in the bottle. 
Because you know what? You want to let it out and go to other bottles and do this and keep adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff. And it's like, why? You could have spaced this stuff out. I don't need six TV shows and 18 movies. And what? It gets confusing. And I love all, I'm a comic book guy. I love all these characters. But and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, you you need a movie the next year. The, the no, you, not all not all the time. Space it out. Stop bringing so many characters into you. You bring characters in and don't introduce them like properly. Like, oh, this so and so. And then a lot of people will look on the internet and be like, oh yeah, I kind of familiar. But stop. It's too much. So what you need to what you need to do, focus on Marvel it needs to be fixed. And if you're doing the R rating stuff with Deadpool, which I'm so pumped about, and if you think Ryan Reynolds isn't going to ad lib, even though it's during a writer strike, hmm, you got to be kidding me. And it's going to be great because you know he's going to say the whole time is like it was already in the script. They're like, where well, well, where at? Which script do you have? He knows what he's doing. And that's why you bumped it up, because that movie is actually going to be good. And you know who's running that whole show? Ryan Reynolds. Can we get this dude some X-Men? Just a couple more. We got Colossus and uh, Negasonic uh, Teenage Warhead. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows, because he saw failure with Green Lantern, Ryan Reynolds. And I'm a big fan of Orr. And I'm a big fan of the Green Lantern Corps. Like, huge fan. But he saw what he was doing. And those. And even the Deadpool thing. And you know, he makes it funny. I don't know. You're losing alcohol. It just, just unload. Just unload Lucasfilm. Oh, no, like I'm, I don't right now. I want Warner Bros. I don't know if that would happen because they're doing a major change themselves with DC, and I understand. And I know they're probably like watching it carefully. Like, mm, can we? Is it a possibility? Probably. Will it happen? Who knows? But there's there's other companies. Just you just have to. It comes to the point when. If it's not, it was good for a little bit. But I really think that y'all need to focus on Marvel. Because that's your cash cow. Lucasfilm has really never been your cash cow. Yes, certain movies did really well at the box office. But has that ever really been your cash cow with Star Wars? Man, well, no, no, I could say that um, Mandalorian was the flagship for Disney+. Plus. So that boosted Disney Plus, but after that, what happened? After that first season, what happened? Mediocre. That's what happens when you get in the streaming world. So, you need to take heed with a lot, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm really not. I'm just giving you an opinion and an idea. But, just unload it. Give it to somebody else. <clears throat> Warner Bros. But give it to somebody else. You got a little bit of rights. You can do... You know what? You can do how you're doing with Sony. Marvel and Sony. You can do the same thing. Where you still got your uh, hand in the cookie jar. You get a half a cookie. Not a full cookie. But it's better than none of the cookie, right? And I thought it was a good thing like this. I, I knew that Disney had this vision for something, but y'all have switched out CEOs, board members, people all the time. And you know who's still kicking? Kathleen Kennedy. Because she's laughing at y'all. And I'm not going to hate on Kathleen Kennedy, even though I just... Don't like her decision. I don't think she's that great, great of a producer. But I don't produce nothing, so I don't know. But we don't know what she does. 
she could be like, hey, put my name on that, right? I've never seen her on the set, like, fully going into it. And she has, I mean, she's been there since Amblin. I'm like, I agree, you came back out of retirement to go there, you got rid of Chapek. Chapek? Yeah. Chapek? But what are you doing? Slowing movies down? Look how far the phases have moved. And then Feige, Feige, let me get into Feige. Feige, I was a big fan of you, but you, you're kind of a fraud right now. It's all, everybody, it was the hot hand. It was that magic in a bottle, but you couldn't hold on to it. Terrible, but, um, I mean, what are we still doing? And I'll say it in every video, because a big fan, where's Blade? He had a two-time Academy Award winner just sitting there. I mean, in a lot of your movies, people are like, what's going on? What are we doing? Yeah, I don't know. And right now it's the Acolyte with Star Wars. I kind of get too far into Disney sometimes, because <laughs> the whole video is kind of about to be about the Acolyte and Star Wars. But yeah, just sell it, please. Just sell it. You keep all the stories intact. You keep the Ray movie. Because you know what? You actually sell it to somebody else. It, or half. We'll do the half thing. Where, yeah, you can have the rights to it. So you're still making money. It's a win-win. But just let her, let somebody else tap into that lore a little bit. And no High Republic. And, uh, and I know the Acoly Acolytes during the High Republic. So. Or the end of the High Republic, which nobody gives a shit about, to be honest with you. I, there may be some people, and yeah, but I know it's a hard time, so you got to fin finish through this phase and then do the Mandalorian movie, which unfortunately now it's just not going to be, who knows, who knows who the actual Mandalorian is. It could be the plant next door right now. And I and I don't mind Bo Katan. I don't. I, I just don't know. Where, you started the whole thing off with Din Djarin and Grogu, and you added some other characters and everything. But then all of a sudden, you just flipped. And you did the same thing with Boba Fett. Y'all are just not good at Star Wars. Let's be honest. Disney, you're just not good at Star Wars. You're good at making people laugh. Make you you have so many movies that are inspirational to people's youth. Let's stick with that. Because obviously this is too hard for you. Or maybe not. Maybe you got something brewing and you'll shock the world. I really hope so. But it is a dumpster fire. Shit show, sinking ship. Um, it's almost like, to be honest with you, with, with, with how they're going, it's just, it was, and you know what, you spaced it out a lot. The funny thing is you spaced it out a lot more and then after end game and all that, it just went all over the place. And the characters you could have used, there's so many characters. I mean, and where's Mephisto? Does anybody know where Mephisto's at? Why? There's so many people that you can go through. You already covered the core characters that everybody would know. Start bringing other characters in. So then people are like, who's that? And then you might um, launch comic book sales, help other people out. And then the myth, the lore gets bigger and bigger. But she, I, I don't know. Anyway, that's my video for this. I just went on a little. Oh, this was another late night rant on Disney. Uh, they might shadow ban me eventually, but like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot I'm trying to build this channel. And like I said before in the in the other video, I want to actually have interact with actually the subscribers. Tell me your thoughts on it. I want to know, like, comment, and subscribe. Go in the comments, see where it's going. 
I know everybody won't agree with me, but like, comment, and subscribe, and um, you know, I want everyone, everyone, to subscribe. Everyone. <laughs>